Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Morning Cheese May. If you are watching here on YouTube or listening on Spotify or Apple, welcome. We are so happy to have you here. Sister, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. 16. I know. It's our 16th birthday. And you know, this episode's going to be a little bit later because we were waiting for the Love is Blind UK reunion, I which know. gave absolutely nothing. It gave nothing. It could have been an email. Mm. What a waste of time. 52 minutes of nothing. We literally waited to record the podcast today to bring you yes. the tea up to date, and yeah. it was just... Not worth it. It was lackluster at best. Truly not the vibe. Um, but like, they could have done so much more. But they we'll get into it. We'll definitely we'll we'll get, get into, into it. it. How was your weekend? It was good. Chill. How was your weekend? It was good. Um, I literally, I'm in my chilling era. I love to chill. Honestly, though, it's also because we're about to go to New York. Yeah. And that this goes for everybody out there. If you've been to New York and have any recommendations, oh, yes. please let us know. Um, I feel like we're going to New York and I feel like right before I travel, I kind of like chill hardcore because yeah. I'm saving all my energy, energy for our travels and we're gonna be in new york for a good amount of time yeah we're gonna be there for like six days yeah so it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun time i definitely am excited um but yeah i also like bed rotted it, i fat chilled i like i mean i went to see an apartment and a town home but that was pretty much it like i didn't really do much but i love not doing too much because like you know it's not the vibe like i want to relax exactly. especially with this heat i say this in every single fucking podcast at this point like you hear me complain about the weather weekly like i'm so sorry but like the weather's ass ass literally today is the first day in a very long time where i was outside for a little bit and i was like okay this isn't the worst thing the ever. worst thing ever I like have you seen those memes that are like i'm going to texas in the summer like how's the weather and people are like have you ever been cremated like <laughs> damn yeah no it's fucking horrible and i'm over it. i'm excited for like a little like 70 yeah i mean we're in the like latter half of the year so it's like the end of august already yeah so like it's supposed to cool down soon I mean, I feel like it it never actually cools down in Houston until, like, December. Yeah. If that, remember that one Christmas where it was hot? Yes. That was not not the the vibe. Not the vibe. You know what's also not the vibe? Uh Uh-huh. Or maybe it is the vibe. Maybe we're we're rooting for them to end. Ben Affleck and J-Lo are done so. It was, it was a long time coming. I mean. They only dated for, or they only married for two years. No, but there have been so much speculation whether they were getting a divorce or not. And she put the separation date as April 26, 2024. So they've been separated for quite some time. Yeah, but like they were only married for like a year and a half. Two years, actually. Two years. She So she filed for divorce. Pro per, by the way. That means she didn't even hire a lawyer. She's, she's like, I'm I, doing it myself. Yeah, she's like, this is my fourth divorce. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm representing myself. Um, Very Elle Woods of her. Yeah. Um, so she did it on the anniversary of her second wedding, wedding anniversary of, of her more traditional wedding because mm-hmm. she had had like a Vegas wedding. Interesting. I think you got the ick. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, from that documentary. That's what everyone's saying. Yeah, it was her bodega order that gave him the ick. Oh my god, if you know, you know. <laughs> Honestly, like I haven't even seen it, so I can't even shit on her too no, much. No, all I saw was on TikTok. Yeah, and people and were quite roasting frankly, her. That's all I needed to see because I just like. I feel like I would have gotten secondhand embarrassment. Yeah, I know. And I just, like, didn't want that. Yeah, I feel like this year has been, like... Or maybe last year, too. Like, people started to realize, like, how annoying J-Lo is. And, like, mm-hmm. I, I used to think she was annoying. And now I, I also find it... But, like, now I feel bad. Because I feel like she's yeah. annoying. You know what I mean? And, like... She's, like, you know, going through it. And, like... I know. She probably thought it was endgame. Like, I personally thought... So, everybody was, like... I talked about this on my TikTok. And everybody was, like, well, I mean, come on. Like, how did you think they were going to be endgame? But I really thought, okay, like, they had mm-hmm. history. They have reunited. And I thought maybe this was it. Like, wrong... Yeah. Like, right person, wrong time at one point. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, no. Yeah. Honestly. I mean... I mean, they're fully... I guess she filed, so, like, they're done. But, like, sometimes people, like, take it back. Yeah. You never know, but people are saying that he's gonna go back to jennifer garner and i'm like but i don't she think has so a boyfriend. i know i was like i don't I think hope so that jennifer garner does not take him back though is he like problematic uh no but like she needs to like been there done that yeah been there done been that. there done that yeah. for sure i get it um interesting interesting to say the least like she's she was so how did like this come about so she was dating a rod for like yeah. a while they broke up he cheated on her apparently they were engaged allegedly yeah to with multiple women they broke up and then she married ben affleck like soon and after. then her and ben like reconnected then they got married like five weeks later really <laughs> no i don't know it was like very very fast and then now they're getting a divorce damn yeah. that sucks i know i think that j-lo really needs to just focus on herself for a little bit i do feel like i'm not trying to judge her but she does kind of like jump from relationship to relationship and i think she should just like live her best life yeah of course i think it's also hard because like she probably like just like 
really wants love or maybe she just really wanted him and she would try to look for him in all these other men mm. and then she got him back and now she lost him i know because of the movie you think <laughs> but apparently he directed like there's like a picture of him like apparently he didn't want to be the muse i don't know there's so many rumors he's like, the muse yeah that's the whole point it's like a love letter to him i could be wrong i could be lying but that's what <gasps> we're saying this is like artists like doing an album together and then yeah. they end up breaking up rosalia and alejandro yeah interesting to say the least i feel like there's gonna be new developments like soon it's this yeah. isn't over like there's something that's gonna happen we're gonna hear more about it um but in other news we well in lighter and happier news justin and Haley bieber had their baby and their baby's name is so cute it's so cute jack blues bieber that's really adorable i thought she was gonna name him like something wild like they usually do right but i feel like Haley was like i'm not gonna be like every other bitch exactly by being like every other bitch i'm exactly. not like being yeah. yeah like she's not gonna be like any other celebrity bitch naming yeah. their kids like weird things but also like Haley also reminds me a lot of like Sophia Richie when it came to her pregnancy in the sense that like I kind of knew that she was gonna name the yeah. baby I thought it was a girl did they yeah. ever announce the gender no I don't think so but they announced like a road blush and people thought it was like because I don't know but apparently the baby people were thought the name the name of the baby was gonna be plum plum that's like I don't think that's really cute plummy that's ugly I'm sorry plum is a wild thing to name your child yeah plum I, if your name is plum I'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> I have no room to talk um yeah, your name's it's, a, it's a cute name though, Jack Blues Bieber. Yeah, that's cute. A lot of people don't like the blues part. Why? I don't she know. She had to like liven it up a yeah, little. Yeah, a little. What, Jack Bieber? That's yeah. too little. Like, <laughs> I feel like if you're gonna name your child something like normal, then middle name has to be something like a little off, not a off, little like, special a, because yeah. of their celebrity status. Yeah, and I feel like some like celebrities like what is Elon Musk's baby name? Like it's something crazy. Like, like, X like equals square. Y, like a, yeah. hypo, what is that you say? Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> How do you say it? Pythagorean theorem. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I like thought you were saying hypothesis. I thought at first it was the same word, but it's not. My brain is literally not working. Uh, but Justin and Haley, like, you know, having a baby, I feel like very happy for them. I hope now they leave her alone. I know. Like, people are like, oh, but is she being Selena? Not. Shut the People are not. Up. I kid you not. Literally, right before we started recording the podcast, I saw this girl posting, like, oh, I cannot believe Haley Bieber is ha had Justin Bieber's baby. She started stalking um justin from a very young age and she's the reason why um justin <laughs> I, and selena I know broke exactly up which talk tiktok you're and talking I'm about i'm like oh my goodness guys like it's just, i feel it's like they don't know the lore like they don't know the re like like selena and justin fans like Haley was always around yeah like there's pictures of them as like in 2014 when they would date on and off because he was dating her and selena like it wasn't like yeah. she was some random bitch that he was like you know what you're the one no yeah. she'd been around for a while like yeah maybe she, he probably wasn't like doing the best thing he was yeah in, in in result of all of this though he was the problem yeah so people need to let that go like and also like selena's like with benny and, and like, she seems very happy yeah and potentially engaged as we yeah. talked about in a past in a tiktok in a past podcast yeah but people are saying that she may have said something shady or liked something shady on instagram i feel like neither of them neither selena mm -hmm. or neither justin and Haley, can do anything without being like oh it's pointed at the other one when yeah. they're probably oh. not even like it's the public yes. that unites them more than anything if i was famous i would be so fucking annoyed like you're with people for a bunch of time and then you're not with them and people are like oh they broke up or they're not friends like can i not live like, yeah I, that would drive me crazy yeah side point you know uh chapel Roan? Mm -hmm. how she made the video about how she was like i don't want people to like invade my space like mm -hmm. don't come like essentially like have some respect for me like yeah. i'm still a human like right. relax you know and i feel like people were like kind of coming for her for wanting like like just to be able to have privacy as a celebrity like people were like oh she's such a brat like yeah i'm sorry if you came up to me or stalked me or didn't leave me alone i would go insane yeah like i think that people forget that celebrities are also people mm -hmm. and then they'll use the excuse as like well you signed up for this. Well, this you signed up for this yeah and i'm like well like they can s i would lose my mind i would yeah. simply be like get the fuck away from me yeah and like the thing is then they like go online and like oh well this person's a piece of shit because she was mean to me on this day like maybe they just were not not having a good day yeah. maybe they just got in a fight with their mom their brother their cousin i don't know maybe they're on their period or they just don't want to talk to you yeah you know what i mean like let people live yeah it's just too much i can't um speaking speaking of too much yesterday joe did you see the post yes 
if you are, you know, fans of Vanderpump Rules, you know who Joe is. And season 11 was, you know, a dumpster fire. But we got to know Joe a little better, who was one of the side characters in Tom Schwartz's life. Side characters. She was. I know. But she became like a situation shift to Tom Schwartz. Yeah. To Joe, she was obviously more than in a, a relationship. I truly believe that he gave her more than crumbs for her to believe that they were in a relationship. Oh, absolutely. But he didn't want to claim her. Yeah. And it's I, sad if you really think about I it. I think he was embarrassed of her because she's kind of weird and maybe she's not ugly. No, it, she's not an she's ugly. Not ugly. No. I think she's just strange. She's a little off. She's strange. And I think that he, even though he's strange, <laughs> right. like he doesn't want a strange partner. Right. I think that he, the perception of that freaks him out. And I think that her being so into him may have also freaked him out. Right. Uh, but he did not give her just crumbs. Bye. Like, I don't never believe that. He no. definitely was telling her he loved no, her. No, I think that he portrayed it. Like, mm-hmm. I truly believe that they were probably in a relationship without the titles. Like, he, like she said that they would say, I love you. Yeah. Like, that's exactly. Insane. Exactly. But so, like, anyways, she made a whole Instagram post <laughs> about their love. Yes. And it actually kind of breaks my heart for her in a sense. Because, like, you could tell that she really, really was into this man. And this man was not into her. But I think it's time. Like, she should have left this in the past. She should have she never. She should have left it in the drafts. Yeah. She should have never, ever posted this. Yeah. But I think she's also trying to show people, like, hey, because she wrote on the caption, like, whatever this was, was. But, like, there's a lot of moments. Like, she posted every single moment she had with she's this like, man. She's like, I have evidence that yeah. we were together, We bitch. were together. Like, I think it was... It was a fuck you, but yeah, I'm also moving on. A shady moving on post, but at the same time, it was like, you want to pretend this wasn't anything? I'm going to show the people what it was. What it was. Yeah, honestly, that's true. I, I Once I posted, because I talked about it on my TikTok, I was like, wait... This isn't just her, like, kind of being like, I want you back, because it gave me that kind of vibe. It's also her proving, like, you lied. Yeah. Because, like, they were together. Like, fuck off. Like, you were together. Yeah. But she's a weirdo, and she talked about yeah. it. Yeah. A bunch. I truly believe, though, that he needs to apologize to Katie, because oh, yeah. he came at Katie's throat at the yeah. reunion for, what, season 10? Mm-hmm. About Joe, and then he turns around just to say the same thing about Joe. Yeah. So, like... Yeah, and apparently she's a liar, too. Uh, Who, Joe? Joe, yeah. Um, she's just I, Joseph. I feel I like hated her friends. When, I oh hated when he would call her that. It was his way of making her a bro. Like, yes, I put my dick in you, but we're friends. You know what I mean, Joseph? Yes, that is the way to literally friend zone her. Because you know she was it in was lo- so uncomfortable when he, when he called her out about the whole makeup thing when they were getting ready for like the finale party. He was saying like, oh, she never wears makeup. She's like he was trying to make sure she was like understood where her place was in his life. Yeah, like you know what I mean? Because like he wouldn't have said that to a girl he wanted to date. Right. But she would just allow it. So like I don't know. Yeah. They're both. He's not a saint. No, by he's any not. means. But she needs to move on, and yeah, someone needs to I could take never, her phone away. I could never just like post that about an ex and be like, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I could. I don't think like, so. Like if I had a okay, I think like because if you have friends. Yeah. They would tell you, take that shit down ASAP. Like, I feel like <laughs> no one cares for her. No, I feel like people care for her. Like, like her friends, they let her post that? I mean, you can't tell someone not to. Yes, you can. <laughs> I'd be like, look, he has blocked you. He, he blocked her. He blocked her. He told her not to talk about him anymore. Like, and then she posted this whole, yeah. like, love story. Yeah. Pretty much. Like, it was like a montage. I yeah. was like, damn, girl. She said, I am getting the last word. But the thing is, by her wanting to get the last word, she's not going to. Because the thing is, like, Tom Schwartz is a fan favorite. He's always going to be liked mm-hmm. by people. Like, it's never going to be Joe over Tom. Over Tom Schwartz. That's yeah. never going to happen. So, even if she is in the right, it doesn't matter. She needs to leave it in the drafts. Yeah. Go talk about it with a therapist I do know. not put it on the internet I like know. suffocate it deeply in your soul even if yeah. you want to prove a point because even though it hurts but like i get it though because like yeah. i would do something to prove a point yeah but like you wouldn't you would not post it absolutely not i would take that with me to the grave i would swallow that like mm-hmm. no i could not post that yeah i think it's hard because she wants to like clear her name which is valid too it's giving it's giving it's giving i want to clear my name because we were more than friends yeah and she wants to prove that she meant something to him yeah at least by pictures yeah and i just feel like she needs to take his word for it like i'm sorry yeah you know what i mean but at the same time i know like he said that she did a bunch of fucked up things to him which she he never shared so it's like if she did do these fucked up things why is she playing with fire because if i was him i would air it out i would air it out but i think she knows he won't air it out because i don't think tom shorts is like that yeah i feel like she pushes his buttons 
Yeah. Because if you ever think about it, like, we really don't know anything about Tom Schwartz. Like, yeah. we only know the things that they show us on the show. Like, I feel like we don't know anything about his personal life, like, more than Katie. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Joe needs to... She's not very demure right now. No, she is not demure at all. But you know what? Oh, I can't even lie. If I was crashing out like that, I, I bitch my... Oh, to prove a point, I would. I would... St- because like it pisses me off when people tell me i'm lying so much yeah so to prove a point i would look crazy like if you already think i'm crazy i might as well fucking show you like you know what i mean <laughs> like it would piss me off like if someone wouldn't claim me and was like oh downplaying me to like the world and was like we were not even like do like you know yeah like if you're fucking like hanging out with me every day telling me you love me and into the world i'm just some bitch you fucked I would lose my goddamn mind. So maybe, you know what? I'm not even going to judge her. I was yeah. judging her on a TikTok saying that she was, you know, doing it too much. But, like, I maybe she wasn't. No, but the thing is, at this point, you know, he doesn't care. So why yeah. are you submitting yourself but to... I don't know if it's necessarily for him. It's you think it's for the people? I think it's for her to prove a then point. Then for her. Yeah. yeah I mean, she wants to know. prove a point. I still think she's annoying, but... Can I judge her for her wanting the truth out there? No. But I think, okay, so I feel like she kind of wants the truth out. No, I think she wants the truth out there, but I feel like she also... She wants to be associated with him. Yeah. God. Maybe she is a mastermind. Is this a horrible thing to do or is it genius? Now I'm thinking. (laughs) Because, like, if someone did me dirty like that, like, because he obviously lied. Like, they were fucking telling each other they loved each other. I would crash out, too. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, speaking of Demir, people are mean in this world. Jefferson I hate Bates, people. Count your days. So we know Jules. She's a content creator who came up with the phrase very Demir, very mindful. And she has some haters. Yeah. Someone who trademarked the the saying can suck a dick. It, is he who is he? I don't know. It's someone who's very money hungry because you only do this to literally get money out of it. Right? Yeah. So they trademarked the, the the saying, but this other girl on TikTok. I know she trademarked very demure, very cutesy, and then transferred it to Jules. And I just love girlhood. girlhood. I love girlhood so much. Yeah. Like you would never see a man doing that, but girls, yeah, we have each other's back. Yeah. I wish the world was just a bunch of girls. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, yes, but no. Like Barbies. She's like, <laughs> what did she say? say? She was like, I thought I might stay. But I don't want you here. <laughs> That's funny. No, but I'm happy that, you know, I ho- I think it's going to turn out well. And also, like, if this person ends up making merch or whatever, whatever they plan on doing, no one's, I hope, no, no one's going to buy it. I hope people don't support. Yeah, like, like Jefferson, ba- I want to know what he looks like. I already have an idea. Do you know what he looks like? Um, I think he, he's a white man. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. He's in his 50s. He's an he's, CEO he has, of some sort. He has a beard. Oh, my God. He, we know what he looks like? I think so. <gasps> does he look like, does he look like? Bates I don't know if like, I don't know if that's him though. This is him. Yes. Oh. Well. But we can't go by that. Well, if that is him, it looks exactly what I thought he would look like. Yeah. Um. But it is what it is. I feel like it's gonna work out for Jules. I'm not even worried about her. Yeah. I, she's just. She's I, just a girl. Yeah. She's just a girl, and she just forgot to. Yeah. Which is valid. Honestly, like such hater energy like leave her alone oh my god i Same with that know. other girl who was like fucking claiming she made demir oh like, oh my gosh the word demir has been around for so long it's the way that jules represents yeah. the word it's it's, the way she says it yeah the way that she says it the way that she goes like anyone can say demure right because i saw it the other day like on gilmore girls the nanny like they were playing like demure is a huge thing at the moment right yeah. like, everyone's saying it but it's the way that jules says it mm-hmm it's the phrase it, it's the phrase it's the way that she explains demure the way that she like it's a joke creates, it's also like a joke yeah, the way that she creates her content surrounding those words that's her yeah no one else that's like her brand um language or something yeah like it's like the way she's and i love brand, that yeah. i love that for her same speaking of tiktok drama okay we didn't have this on the list but i want to talk about it sophia lacourt and hallie kate yes um so hallie kate is a very popular new york influencer she bought her own house in the hamptons with like influencer money which is like good for you bitch yeah it queen. made me want to like get sat and fucking work you know because yeah. i was like i want to buy a house i don't even need i don't even want a house like that i i, I could settle for a cute little three hundred thousand dollar house right Did they even sell those though I don't know. The economy is so bad. I know. But anyways, so Hallie Kate is a very popular influencer in New York. And she had a boyfriend named Reed who they dated for nine months. They broke up and he told her, like, I'm just not like, I don't see you as the person that I'm in, like my the love of my life or whatever. Then she goes to an influencer event and Sophia LaCourt, this like redhead influencer, which 
um, I believe they run in like the same circle or whatever. Claims that they're not friends or coworkers. I guess Hallie is talking about reading the breakup. Sophia then goes to her Instagram, follows him, then DMs, and they go on a date. And obviously, Hallie brings it to Inst- uh, t- TikTok, sorry, and like airs her out because this like, was last December. Yeah, this was not giving girls girl. So then, obviously, Hallie shares her side of the story. She's like, "I thought we were cool. I thought we were friends. I reached out to her. She didn't answer. Whatever." Um, she ends up getting back together with Reed, be- even though he said he didn't do anything wrong when he went on a date with Sophia. Like, okay. And then now Sophia is sharing her side of the story because a podcast episode from Delusional Diaries, which is Hallie and Jazz's podcast, it just he looked like he was so uninterested in Hallie. Mm-hmm. So people were obviously judging the relationship, and she was like, you know what? I'm gonna sit. And they got back together fire. to this shit. Yeah, and they got back together. Yeah, Reed and so, Hallie. Um, Sophia's sharing her side of the story, and yeah. like. Like, my thoughts. Okay, so, one, why is no one looking at the boyfriend? Yeah. That is what pisses what, me yeah. off. Like, I feel like Reed is the culprit here. Yeah. And he's just, like, an innocent, skating, but, like, yeah, like, he's, they're acting like he's an innocent bystander. Yeah. And I'm like, why is no one talking about the, yes, about the boyfriend? I just think it's, one, Sophia's a weirdo. She, why the fuck did you bring that up? But at the same time, the way she's handling is... I hate, I fear, I have to say it. It's kind of iconic. Like, yeah, if she, I was getting dragged all over the fucking internet, I would be crying. Did you see her fake crying? Yes, dude. And then she was singing. Yes. So, oh, side note, beautiful voice. She should yes. sing more often. She's definitely using every ounce of clout. And she's like, I'm making the, the most of it. Yeah. It's, it's genius. It's genius. And I hate to admit it, but... Like, Hallie K, everyone was on, like, you know, Team Hallie K, whatever. Like, you know, we love her. And, and she's great, you know? Yeah. But now we're like, hold on. You got back together. Yes. After he did this to you. But you're still, like, you know, dragging her. Why is she getting hate? Yeah, I think that he... I think that he's the common denominator here. Yeah. I think that he should be getting hate. Not saying that anyone should be getting if hate. If it went down the way that Hallie is saying it went down and Sophia did do those things, I understand why she would be upset at Sophia. Like, right. Yeah. But I feel like at the end of the day, like, Reed also asked her on a date. So. Well, I think she asked him. Oh. Well, Reed also went on the date. Yeah, he was there. And yeah. she said, I think he was there. And I was like, when she said, oh, um, I didn't, I didn't know, know you owned him. him. He, he wasn't, wasn't wearing, wearing a, a collar. collar. My jaw hit the floor. I was like, oh my God, the way? <sighs> if it was my man, I would have found her apartment by now. I, it would have been over. And the way she was talking about kissing him, ah, I was like, why are you saying this on the internet? But yeah. at the same time, she doesn't give a fuck. She does not give a fuck. And honestly, the way she's handling it, like, okay, she shared a little three part series, right? I thought that was cringe. But at the same time, I was like, why is this bitch saying this? Like, yeah. whatever. The way she handled everything else, I'm like, people are starting to side with her. They're like, yeah. she's funny. People, Yeah, people are saying that she's, like, iconic. Like, the lines yeah. that she says. Like, there's there was another influencer that made, um, uh, like, a TikTok. a TikTok. And they were like, I hate that ginger bitch or something. Yeah. That little ginger bitch. She used that, I that know. The sound. I like, she crying. gives no fucks. Yeah, I also think that, like, she's, like, one of those people that, like, is seeing it, like, I have my five minutes. I'm going to use every single second yeah. of it. But I think you're right. I think that at the end of the day, like why are we not looking into read yeah but at the same time like he didn't choose to be in the public eye like he doesn't he's not an influencer you know mm-hmm. what i mean like she's an influencer i also want to know okay and i'm this is no hate to hallie kate okay but like how did you move past that because i yeah. personally would never let it go and, and you know and why is he not posting an instagram story or going on the internet and saying that he hates her and that i'm the love of his life i would be so bad oh yeah, my god I, and like there's cuter guys out there. I mean, I know that that's probably yeah. their cup of tea, but like, we're really fighting over a boy when there's like ten other guys that look like him. Like, not ten, ten hundreds, 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 but maybe like in their nearby area. Yeah, in their one mile radius. Yeah, and she said, you know, like she said that he said that he just didn't see her as the love of his life. And then when he gave the answer on the podcast, I just wanted it to like give it, say something else. Say that you could possibly live without her. That's why. You got back together. Like, the way he gave it. What did he say? He just... It was very, like, you know... How old are these people? I just moved to New York. They're, like, 23, 24. So, Mm. they're, like, young. Um, But the way he... It was a very, like, low vibration answer. Like, it was just, like... You know what I mean? Like, if she went through all of that... For y'all to get back together, like, give an answer with some umph. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it gave nothing. And also, what makes me mad is that... Did they not sit down and listen to the podcast? Like, why would you post this? Like... I, I know it's not their fault because like whatever but like don't post it you know yeah let's watch things back um but ha- sophia is like she's taking it 
and yeah. I feel like people are turning against Hallie. Yeah, They're like, they this are. bitch is insane for getting back together with him. I know. But I do feel bad for her. I mean, and also, like, I would be throwing the fuck up, bitch, if my man did that with someone who looks like Sophia. Why? Because Sophia's pretty? She's so pretty. She is pretty. And she sounds like Blake Lively. She does. She does. I would be personally vomiting all over myself. Um, but, you know, the tea is good. I thought that was insane. Yeah. It just keeps coming. I know. It doesn't stop. She keeps posting. I know. I'm like, damn. But I mean, like, what? It, like, what is I, she going to do? Yeah, I mean, like, she went, like, people were hardcore hating on her at the beginning. And now people are like, Iconic. wait a minute. Like, you're actually a funny bitch. Like, yeah. 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 I wonder how people feel, like, the people that were defending Hallie so hardcore, like, the more popular influencers. I wonder, like, how that's going, yeah. you know? I guess we'll just have to... We'll kind of have to wait and see. See, I, I definitely thought that that was, like, wild. But I, I also get both sides. Like, I would be destroyed if someone did that to me. But also, if someone was trying to cancel me for something their man also did, I would also be annoyed. Yeah. So it's like, I, I get both sides. And I think that he should write a very long Instagram... He needs to propose right now. Yeah. Like, I, my the only way out of this is for her and him to stay together forever. Like, that's the only way this, you know, I would feel like I won. Yeah. Like, propose to me today. Yeah. With a huge ring. Huge ring. Huge. I'm huge proposal. About, like, write me a $100,000 check. It has to be the nines. Like, yeah. I, I simply cannot live this down. Okay? Yeah. Um, it was too much. But speaking of TikTok drama, mom talk. Do you remember the whole drama with the Utah ladies? Oh, my God, yeah. And now we're getting it on a TV show, which is crazy. Like, it's crazy, but I am here for it. I know. I'm going to be watching. Yeah, I will be tuned in. Yeah. Apparently, so, okay. If you're new to, like, mom talk drama, like, a few years ago, there was, like, a group of, like, I want to say they're Mormon because they told the crowd of people they were, you know, posting content for that they were Mormon, but apparently they're not practicing Mormon. So I just don't want to, like, I want to differentiate that. Um, but, they, like, these were, you know, non-practicing Mormon moms who were in a group of friends, and they were low-key swinging, and it was, like, a whole thing. Like, they were, like, all swinging. Yeah. Which is... I didn't know, like, that that was a vibe in Utah. I guess so. And Taylor... Taylor? Yeah. Fra Taylor? Frankie Paul. Yeah. She... The main swinger. Was she the main swinger? <laughs> no. She was just, like, the main one. She was, like, the starter the one that of mom got talk. in trouble. Yeah. The one that, like, I guess... She swung... With someone by themselves. Yeah, and I guess, like, you weren't allowed to swing by yourself. Yeah, it was, like, a group effort. You, yeah. <laughs> it was a group project, and she <laughs> wanted an individual grade. Um, and, yeah, and it was, like, a whole thing. She ended up getting a divorce. Yeah. Which is crazy. You know, I knew of her because her son looked like Stefan Salvatore from Vampire Diaries. <laughs> That's the only reason I found out about her. Yeah, no. And it was crazy. And then, like, she got with someone else's man. Yeah. I, maybe they broke up as well i don't know what happened to that couple yeah but she and her husband got a divorce yeah but the thing is these people are so young like she's like 28 i know and i'm like now like she's swinging, with another guy i feel like swinging is an older activity like i feel like that's something you try in your 30s or 40s i've never done it so i don't know but like i feel like swinging I, is like maybe because of like religious upbringing or maybe because they were all very close yeah i mean i can only imagine it was they had to be close yeah they're swinging with each other like yeah husbands and girlfriends and no husbands and wives and shit. yeah and now they're getting a show yeah are they gonna talk about the swinging i'm assuming because she did in, like an interview with like entertainment tonight or something like that and she explained soft swinging mm -hmm. i don't know so oh yeah i think that she was only allowed to soft swing and they went full hard what is soft swinging maybe like kissing like everything nipples and up <laughs> <laughs> no i think that's just like maybe just like kissing I feel like it can't just be kissing. If you're swinging and you're just making out, it's not <laughs> swinging. It's just kissing. I have to Google it. Soft swinging. Soft swinging. What do you think it is? Oh, my God. What the fuck was that? Are you okay? Fluff. Oh, my God. You scared me. Uh, soft swinging. The custom of engaging in sexual activities with your partner in the same room as another couple, not swapping or sharing partners. Oh, so they were doing it together, like wife and husband together with other people in the oh, room? Yeah, so like other people watching. And but then like hardcore no one... swinging is when they trade seats. Oh, wow. So she, how did she hard swing? Oh, she was like, I don't want. She like took someone's man and like went into like a, a private room. area. Yeah. At a party with, where all the people were at? Yeah, I guess. Oh and gosh. she was wasted. She was wasted. And like in the religion of more. El how do you say LSD? No, LDS. In Mormon religion. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> and they don't drink. So, like, that was, like, also bad. 
Oh, but they weren't practicing back then either. Yeah, but I don't know for sure. Dude, for the longest time, she pretended she was like these other two girls' yes. mom. And I believed it. <laughs> you talking about Miranda and Camille? So they asked them to be on the show, yeah, but, but they, they said, don't like Taylor. No. Miranda is really pretty. Camille is also really pretty. But I feel like they just like do not fuck with Taylor. But, but they apparently, were, apparently they, they were good. Yeah. And but then they basically were like, oh, if Taylor's going to be on the show, then we're not going to be on the show. I that's I, what Taylor said. Yeah. But I also get it. Like my whole life exploded because of this person to some degree. And now everyone thinks I'm a swinger, you know, but, but they were swinging. No, apparently they weren't. Oh, because Miranda actually commented on a TikTok of mine in 2021. And she was like, I was not swinging. Oh, yeah. Yes, dude. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because I was like, they were all swinging, including the, the twins. <laughs> and she's like, I'm not a twin. I was not swinging. Yes, I was a part of the breakup of the friendship. I was like, okay, well, sorry. I remember that. I know, right? That was so crazy. <laughs> I'm ready to watch it, though. I'm I here know. for the tea. Like, yeah. Honestly, like, if my life exploded and everybody saw it for free, might as well get paid. But also, like, if my life exploded and you guys were around and then you try to turn your back on me, I'm taking you down with me. <laughs> but I, but no, the thing kidding. is, like... No, I'm just kidding. She was definitely, like, fucking another girl's man. Yeah, it was, like, some blonde girl with short hair. Yeah. I remember. Is the blonde girl going to be on the show? Um, the other people on the show, I'm like, I don't recognize any of you. Well, mom talk was, like, ten bitches deep. Like, yeah, it, it was, was so many. And it was, like, so and there was, like several groups. Like, the mom, the moms were, like, there was like another group with like a girl named Kelsey and Cody and oh my god that Kelsey girl was so annoying I just mom talk was crazy it was like you had to be there moment like all these yeah. ladies hanging out being like making bad TikToks moms, or like badass moms not bad moms yeah. and I'm like oh my god yeah it was wild and like everyone was like the whole thing was like everyone was hot like everyone was hot and a mom and either Mormon or not Mormon yeah it was like a whole thing it was like a weird time on TikTok I remember they used to all go live together one of them met their husband through TikTok, and then they, like, went TikTok live. I'm like, why would you TikTok live your wedding? But anyways, speaking speaking of TikTok live, okay? So I saw a TikTok live where Dea had talked about mm. the reunion, and she threw some shade at Miss Ariana Maddox. And I fear, okay, I love Ariana Maddox. Y'all know I love her. I feel like Dea made it several points. And I know that people don't like it because it's coming from Dea. Or is it Daya? I think it's Daya. It's Daya, okay. It, I feel like people are not listening to the point she made because it came from Daya. She said that she felt like, you know, she was going to be able to speak, speak her piece at the reunion. They, like, glazed over her situation. And at the very end, she asked Ariana, like, hey, can I talk about my situation? And they're like, oh, we ran out of time. And then she also, like, Ariana had brought up the whole backseat conversation, which we're going to get into in just a second. And um, no one wanted to be a part of the conversation because I guess, like, they just, like, didn't want to be a part of it. Um, which Daya said that she felt like, ariana was like kind of being a mean girl for like a host i i don't think that ariana's a mean girl at all but i do think that everybody that should have attended the reunion should have gotten to speak so now we start the love island reunion the love island reunion was so boring so boring it could have been an email it could have been an email it could have been but also not to be on ariana's side but she there was only so much that she could ask and i'm sure yeah. the producers was were like there's only so much people can say yes i do agree with that but if you're going to invite 20 fucking people let 20 motherfuckers talk. i know like i three things the reunion was so underwhelming two although i like her it's centered around leah the whole time and three if you're gonna invite everybody everybody should get to talk if i was invited somewhere and i had to sit there for hours and hours to not be even able to speak my piece after half of the united states has been coming and coming in my dms and yeah. commenting on my shit i would be so fucking mad like it's the last time we're all in this room together where i can share my piece and people might be able to give their input on how they yeah. saw the situation so that i maybe can like put this shit to rest i would also be upset yeah because like i have so many thoughts and i feel like we don't agree on this but these are my thoughts okay the reunion everybody was tiptoeing around leah's feelings because they were terrified of the stands and i feel like that's a hard thing to put yourself in like you know regardless of what you say you're gonna get dragged across the internet so you, you just kind of like play along and just like okay fine like you're right it's not a big deal i feel like leah and janae had kind of more of a ability to tell their authentic truths which is not their fault because like obviously like they don't control their fandom but i feel like everybody else didn't get the same luxury because like even if they felt like they were wronged or hurt in a situation they couldn't really say it because they knew if they said it they were just going to be destroyed online yeah what do you think I think that, I mean, obviously this is about Andrea, a, a little bit of it, right? Yeah. I think that, you know, 
it's not like she got what was coming for her, but she shouldn't have opened her mouth the way that she did when she got out of the villa. There was a oh, lot yeah. of things that Andrea said that, okay, so now Janae and Leah are mean girls because they're standing up for themselves. Like, you have not seen Leah, you have not seen Janae before the reunion really talk about Andrea. They've said a few things here and there, like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna check her at the reunion or something like that. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, a lot of mean things were said about them, too. Yeah, but I get what you're saying. I think that they... I think... If it wasn't because Leah and Janae and Serena weren't, like, are so big, I don't think Andrea would have never apologized. Oh, I don't think Andrea wanted to apologize anyway. At I think all. Uh, Andrea didn't want, like, to be quite honest, I don't think Andrea thinks she probably did anything wrong. Yeah. She's just probably playing into what she thinks is going to get her less hate. Yeah. Because at that point, like, and of course, it is perspective, like, you know, because I feel like when they played that backseat conversation, I saw Leah's name all over that conversation. But you don't think that. And I don't think and that. And a lot of people don't think that. But I, I felt like, was Leah part of the conversation? Absolutely. But she did say she was trying to take a backseat. Not that she took a backseat. She was trying to take a backseat. And I think that she did just that. Like, I think that at the end of the day, Liv was head honcho she was like yes but Liv was driving the conversation to send nicole home the issue was that leah was driving the conversation to send andrea home which she did but that was the I, whole point yeah but i still don't think that they only send andrea home because of leah i don't think so either but i, I don't think that leah was a asleep in the back seat i think she no, was a present yeah. passenger no, i think that at the end of the day everybody was awake in the car oh yeah but that's what people are arguing they're like oh she had nothing to do with it no no no, no everybody I think that, had fair i think yes input. i think yes. that everybody had fair input i do believe that i don't think that leah was silent no you know um and quite frankly i'm gonna be honest with you if Leah would have came out and said, yeah, I wanted to send her home. Okay, that's the fucking name of the game. And it is what No, it but is. that's the thing. That's the whole reason why people are saying that Leah should have just said that. Because, like, you're lying when you say you're trying to take a backseat because you didn't. So, like, just own it. I definitely felt like, in my opinion, I felt like, was she silent the entire time? No. But I don't think that she was like, Andrea should go home. Andrea should go home. I don't think that it was like that to me. Um, I feel like they want they were never going to send janae home so but them saying that they didn't send her home because of other reasons than that they, they were friends lie just admit it they were yeah. all friends yeah um but i do think that andrea wanted you know only rob and i do think that leah didn't want andrea there but like okay and what about it i think that that's a part that kind of annoys me it's just like if you wanted her out which i believe she if it was me i would also want her out like, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, you yeah. have to pick someone at the end of the day. And yeah. if it was Andrea, then it is what it is. It would have been that moment or it would have been later. Andrea and Rob were not going to win the show. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah that's very so true. So I think that's what really kind of annoyed me. It was like, you could have just owned that you wanted her to send her home. Or at least owned that you took part took in the conversation. Yeah. Um, but I also don't see anything wrong with that. Like, I yeah. think everybody should have input. I think that's the whole point. And I, I also don't think that Liv should have apologized to Leah. I didn't think there was anything to apologize for. Well, I think a lot of things happened because Aaron op Aaron opened up his mouth. I think Aaron should have apologized yeah. once. Yeah, 100%. absolutely, absolutely. And I'm happy that Kaylor dumped his ass. Yeah. And then the fact that he dropped new information at the oh reunion was wild to me. I could not get over that. Like you had this entire time to say things to her, and this is where you drop the bomb. Like you're dumb. Yeah, but I also feel like he was he was so drained. Like it did make me really sad that everybody was so like low spirit. Like it was very mm -hmm. like low vibration. Everyone's low energy. It looked like everyone had been like literally brought there by force. Like everyone looked so nervous. Well, because their union was supposed to start six hours prior than it did. Yeah, but I also think it, it had to do with the fact that everybody's like terrified. Yeah, and I feel too. like the fandom is very intense, mm -hmm. and it it really is difficult to kind of stand up for yourself in that situation. And I think that everyone needs to like also take a chill pill. It's literally a reality TV show. Yeah. If she took a backseat, if she didn't take a backseat, if, you know, Janae wanted to go off on Connor because of what he said, like, why do people go and send like death threats via yeah, DMs? That's for crazy. Sure. Like if you love Janae, if you love, you hate Janae, if you love Leah, if you hate Leah, like why do you need to make your comment known in their comment section? Like we're all allowed to have our opinions and yeah. share our thoughts, but like, Sending a hate DM is wild to me. Yeah. Like, telling someone to unalive themselves is crazy. Yeah. Over a highly edited reality TV show. Yeah. Like, please. Um, but I do want to ask your thoughts and opinions on Nicole and Kendall. Nicole and Kendall. <sighs> it's a very sensitive subject. And I think that, personally, I would have had the conversation privately. Yeah. Um, simply because 
there's there was a lot of background noise there was a lot of people a lot of yeah. people's input a lot of people's opinions so i would have wanted to have that conversation mm-hmm. privately especially given that you know it was such a sensitive subject yeah um then she went and talked about it on the bio files as well mm-hmm. um i think that nicole was getting a lot of hate mm-hmm. but i think that if i was and i understand why kendall lied because Mm -hmm. in the moment you know i get both sides like i understand that he lied because it was something very sensitive and you know it just he Mm -hmm. didn't know what else to do but i think it's also very valid for her to be upset that he lied yeah i think that the part of her you know being lied to is like a trigger point for her as well so it's hard um when i've had that conversation in public no but i do get why she did it and i know that people are like oh no she's a horrible fucking person but I don't she think is people, getting such hate that's exactly what happened so obviously as we know there was a very private video of kendall that was leaked on the day of the finale you know what they get their phones back he lies to her she's obviously upset because she finds out about it through janae not even him which would you know set anyone kind of like wait that's kind of weird like why are you lying to me like five minutes after we leave the villa she was saying she wasn't upset about the video. She was upset about the lying and how big of a deal that was. During the vile files, she also shared multiple other in- instances where he had lied to her. So obviously, honesty is a huge deal to her. And I think that she was getting a lot of heat when they came out of the villa because she hadn't said anything. And he wasn't defending her either. So like she, people thought that she had left him because of the video. Yeah. And she wanted to clear her name in the same way that he wasn't defending her in yeah. public. You know what I mean? So I, I do get it, but it was just... It was I think... She needs to work on her choices of words. And I think it was just a very poor place to have the discussion. But I genuinely think that she was just desperate for people to be like, oh, okay. Like she wasn't. This is why she hasn't been saying anything. Yeah. And yeah. I think that it just came off really poorly. And yeah, I don't know. I feel really bad for Kendall. And I, f- I do feel bad for Nicole. Because like people are sending her insane dms and, it, and a lot of people are like oh no one was even talking about her before this why is she saying that no they we, were we we went to her comment section it was horrendous whenever the video was leaked and like the first like couple of days after it was bad people were saying such horrible things to her like you're such a piece of shit for not standing up for him you're such a piece of shit for like not yeah standing by his side like you, you don't even know what's going on in their lives like for that to be a comment like can you see you see that right on the public forum and then imagine the dms yeah like it was probably getting to her and yeah. of course it was probably getting to him that he felt like he needed to lie like yeah. i get both situations i get both situations too I, I can't imagine it being like it must be so hard for both of them and now they're broken up so yeah which is you know sad yeah i really like them yeah i i think that they probably just need to heal on their own yeah definitely and also like being on a highly watched reality tv show where people are watching your every move is intense yeah i've never been on one but i can imagine yeah but I wish her the best. And I'm also happy that Kayla stood up for herself. Very happy for Kayla. Um, I do think that, you know, Aaron did some fucked up. I have a question for you. Yeah. What do you feel? How do you feel about Daniela not coming clean to Kayla? I actually have a lot of thoughts. I'm, I'm so glad you asked. Um, oh, I love Daniela. But like, I, it, okay. I know that Daniela doesn't owe Kayla anything. Right. But like, you owe yourself to be a decent human. You could have told her the truth. Yeah. And if I found out that I'm begging you to tell me the truth about this man that I'm in love with. And also, we're getting filmed, and you're doing me dirty, kind of, because you're not telling me the truth. And also, Rob not telling the, her the truth, knowing that it's going to come out. Like, like I don't want to hate on Danielle because I really like her, but, like, you should have been honest. Like, yeah, you know a lot I mean? of people are saying that. Like, you know, she's made some TikToks talking about, um, you know, the bullying and then everything that they're going on, th- that they have going on. And she was like, okay, so people are commenting, okay, like, you're talking about this, but, like, you couldn't even tell Kayla the truth. Yeah. And, you know, I wish, I just wish she would have just been so honest with Kayla and just, like, left it at that. Yeah. I also, like, it's like, but do you want to, like, how do you know what he told her? You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. That's and true, And it's like, too. if they're moving past it. Is it your place to say anything? But at the same time, it's like the whole point is to explore but your Kayla, connections. Kayla asked Daniela for yeah. everything, right? Oh, yeah, they had the whole conversation. I would have dropped all the information right then and there. Like, yeah. hey, this is like... I don't know. It's tough. It's tough. And and I, I, like, I, I hate myself for this, but like a part of me feels bad for Aaron, like a small part, because like I know that people are saying just horrendous things to him. And I it's think, weighing on I these people. I think that at the end of the day, we need to remember that all of these people are people. Mm-hmm. They have feelings mm-hmm. and that there's no need to send such hateful. Like you yeah. can you can have an opinion about someone and be like, oh, I don't like this person. But to say, hey, you need to want to live yourself. And that's and send, insane. Yeah. Like you need help. To yeah. send someone a DM telling them to kill themselves is fucking weird. Yeah. You're a weirdo. Like, yeah. No. Like, that's... We can all have our opinions and thoughts about reality TV and, like, our perception of it. But at the end of the day, that's what it is. Reality television. Yeah. Okay? 
And I feel like Daniela should have told Kayla. Yes, yeah. I agree. Um, but speaking of highly edited reality television, Love is Blind Mexico, we learned some things this week and we want to share them with you guys. So Love is Blind Mexico was the season one, the first season of the show, was more edited than we anticipated it. Um, they did Irais very dirty. Mm-hmm. Very dirty. And... And I'm not gonna lie, I believed the edit. I I did not like Iraiz at the beginning. Only to find out that her and Renee were together the entire time Mm -hmm. is insane. It's insane. It really is, because if you think about it, like all of the parts, at least for me, that I was like, okay, like she looks like she isn't an into him, like they're not really sharing a connection. They had no kiss at the reveal. Yeah, but they, thought, did. they did. They did. A very passionate kiss. Yeah, so like, Rene went on Saul Willy and Chema's podcast and shared what actually happened. He talked about how um, he was, like, scouted on Facebook, which is interesting. I wouldn't I wouldn't think that Facebook would be the avenue. Yeah. Um, he went to the casting. He went on the show. Him and Rene, I mean, him and Irais talked the entire time. They never had a day apart where they didn't talk to each other. Um, he also had strong connections with Silvia and Leti. Silvia being, like, right underneath Irais um and him and Irais, Irais did the reveal they saw each other and then they were you know they didn't have a connection so they didn't go to Tulum with everybody else but it's actually because Netflix didn't have enough budget to send them and they were like oh the, the experiment's over for you sometimes they'll do that like a bunch of people will get engaged but not everybody's on the show but this time they played it like she wasn't really into him and they you know left the show production wouldn't give them each other's details and they reconnected on Instagram and they were dating the whole time until they came back to the show so like they made it How seem scared. They made it seem like they were like she was like reconnecting with the, with him for the first time, but, but they were they had been together the entire time. Yeah. So then they like made her look like you know like the bad guy. The bad guy. That's crazy. I was like, wow, that's intense. That's intense the, because a a lot of people did not like her. Yeah, including when those, me. Yeah, myself included as well. I was like, wow, she. Didn't and then she it. grew on me on the show. I know. So then to find out that like this wasn't even true. Yeah, that's wild. And people are still like, oh, this is just a narrative that Renee's sharing. Like I'm like. If, now that I'm like looking at it, I'm like it makes sense because when they reconnected, right, and they were sitting there, mm-hmm. she gave him a kiss. So why would they kiss if they haven't seen each other? Exactly, right? Yeah. So I'm like, that's interesting, interesting to say the least. I was like, what? And I do, I did like them together. I felt like they were very cute. I mean, they're not together anymore, but you know. They were and cute. also Fernanda came out and said she was on an Instagram oh, yeah. live and said that when everything happened mm-hmm. with Gerardo, he wasn't there anymore, right? Yeah, he's. She said that when she was like throwing things around or whatever at the apartment like he had already left um but i i still think that she yelled at him like very like i, I didn't enjoy yeah, that at all but i'm just saying like production like, like did play produce, little scenes yeah um but that's something that you know i used to bring up at the reunion she was like you the, these scenes are switched and then they kind of like were like oh we're moving on and yeah. she was like no this was switched like the fact that they tried to gaslight her at the reunion and then they also dragged her i was like that's so unnecessary yeah like we get it and then also to be dragged for a picture that you portrayed that wasn't even the reality is insane crazy. it's insane crazy speaking of the reunion fernanda was there the whole time you know how they made it seem like oh yeah a donde esta fernanda gerardo a donde esta? fernanda like she was fucking there the whole time she's like i got there on time like, I was there with everybody else. So just, they were, like, definitely playing a narrative. And I'm not yeah. saying that Fernanda didn't do anything wrong because I did not agree. But the guys weren't so innocent either. Yeah. Like, the guys did not go... If you listen to the podcast, like, you know these men did not go on the show for love. They went on the show for clout, for fame, to, like, be known. They did not go on the show yeah. for love. I mean, that was obvious. Yeah, it was obvious. Uh, for sure. Um, but, you know, on to... I feel like this one, Love is by UK, like, there was a lot of love in the air compared to Love is by Mexico. Like, yes, there was love, but this one yeah. had more married couples. And, you know, the last final episodes, we watched the six couples go down the aisle. We saw Demi and Ollie say... Well, Demi say, I do not. And Ollie pretending like he actually he gave was a fuck. so, like... <gasps> His reaction is so fake. Oh dude. my god! I was like, Ollie. She just said that you guys haven't even had conversations I in know. the past couple of days. Like, you're shocked. You're, you're shocked? shocked. Absolutely not. And then Freddie and Catherine. I thought that he was gonna say yes, but then he was like, actually, no. You know? Yeah. And he was crying. I mean, he's so good looking. He is beautiful. He's very good looking. Like, I was. Like, I think that he's going to find a, some. I think that they're just they just warn each other's yeah. people. Yeah, and I feel like she was like always irritated with him. Always. And I'm like irritated with Freddie. God, I would just bottle it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then Maria and Tom. I feel like Maria did, you know, like she was felt like he did her dirty a little. But apparently and allegedly, someone is saying on Reddit that they both knew that neither was going to say yes. Like they agreed that they were not going to say yes. And then Tom talked about it in his speech whenever he was like saying no and that they had to refilm the scene because obviously they're not going to put that in the show that they talked about it before mm. they said no i don't know if i believe that i mean i, I do or I, well i mean production I so I, you never know but i will say this 
I don't understand. Do they get some sort of like some sort of compensation for making it down the aisle? Because like the whole like him like she I wanted mean, a provider, he wanted someone fifty fifty. You couldn't have this conversation like earlier, like instead of like doing the whole wedding thing. I think it's like the the whole point is to be on the show so you want to at least make it till the end because i mean I feel yeah like, but still like i know but maybe clout is more important than no dignity uh, no me personally i would let you break up with me so that i could be the one that's sad and everyone feels bad for me and then i get all the brand deals you gotta play it like you know how ollie was like oh, what <laughs> what <laughs> you know he was definitely like so happy she didn't say yes like he was gassed the fuck up like ali do you think we were born yesterday i was watching it like oh yeah God. his shocking face i was like he was probably like yes i know like he they i don't know they just she she was right her like vibe from him was Intuition. everything as everything that was happening in yeah. my opinion yeah um but you know and I, then we had Benaya and Nicole. They got married. Yeah, they're so cute. I like them. Yeah. I I had I was questioning her because I was just like, how do you believe Sam? Like But you have to understand, she's not seeing anything besides I understand, what but like, she's hearing. I know, exactly, exactly. And then Jasmine and Bobby got married. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're cute. And, oh, and Steven and Sabrina. <gasps> Steven and Sabrina. So we're at the reunion. Okay, first and foremost, okay, so reunion. let's talk about Steven and Sabrina got married. Yes. Jasmine and Bobby. Mm -hmm. Ben. Ben and Nicole. Yes. And then we had Ollie and, and Demi. Demi. She no. said no. Mm -hmm. Tom and Maria, he said no. Mm -hmm. Freddie and Catherine, he said no. Because she said yes. And she said yes. That, I would be like, you go first. Honestly, I would be like, can you please not air that? Like, at least have him rejecting me without me saying yes first. Yeah. Come on. So, the reunion starts. Mm -hmm. And Sabrina and Steven are sitting on opposite sides of each other. Mm -hmm. They're no longer together. Yeah, it was shocker. And he was giving a vibe that he was not giving in the pods. I know. So it turns out that they were doing long distance marriage and this man doesn't like to talk on the phone or text. I'm sorry. How the fuck? How the fuck? Like, so you're just going to have a wife and just like and her be over there? Yeah. And then you just be over there and like not talk or anything. And she basically says that, you know, he didn't try. Yeah. And she tried. And it was really annoying because they were getting like into the thick of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Into the thick. They were getting into the hardcore cheese, man. And the host is like, we're moving on. We're moving on. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, no offense. Yay for Bobby and Jasmine. Like, I'm yeah. so happy for you. I'm so glad that the mom now accepts you 110%. But let, let's go back to Steven and Sabrina. Yeah. Like, you really think I care about your happy marriage? No. Like, I mean, I do, but like, I want to know what went yeah. down with Steven and Sabrina. Like, they were finally starting to open up, and they were like, "We're moving on." And I'm like, yeah. "Why? Why so, are we moving on?" Yeah, apparently they did film the whole thing, but they like cut it out, and I want to know why. Why? I want her to go on a podcast, and oh, she I needs to go on the bio files. Yes, yeah, seriously. And apparently, someone said that maybe her business started booming, and mm -hmm. his business didn't start booming because okay, when she said that he canceled going to spend Christmas with her two days before christmas no i about lost my <laughs> fucking mind he was like well it was financially i'm like financially you couldn't like have prepared for that ahead of time yeah. and i understand that the holidays are a little bit more expensive at a time for everybody okay i get that but your wife that you don't like to talk to on the phone <laughs> you don't like to text you've only gone to visit her twice. twice she's gone to visit you seven times what yeah that's crazy that's crazy. If he was giving me a very different energy. Like, I was like, who is this guy? Yeah, this is not he the was, guy that was not the guy from the pods. Yeah, that was, it was wild. I was like, who is this person? Um, very weird. Very yeah. weird. And then we learned that Demi and Ollie are not together, but he's with Charlotte. Are uh, we shocked? No! He was like, she's fine, man, at the yeah. bachelor, bachelor party. I was like, he was like, I only have eyes for Demi. And then Charlotte walks in, and he was like, I was like, I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. And she's very pretty. She is very pretty. Yeah. He, she said that he's been by her side throughout the whole... I'm like, you weren't even in it. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> what did you need him by your side for? I was like, we saw you three times. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, why did she say that? I mean, I get it. Because, like, I guess, like, he's her man... Like, her man's falling in love with yeah. another woman throughout this time. Yeah. yeah. That's so crazy. Yeah, when she said that, I was like, we literally didn't <laughs> even see you. Who are you? <laughs> Charlotte with an S. Yeah, so um, Charlotte yeah oh my god i almost call her charlotte <laughs> that's so mean but then Catherine and freddie they're no longer together they, i mean duh yeah honestly they I were better only, off as friends yeah i can only imagine that freddie's dms are covered in fucking women yeah as they should be yeah i mean he's he's posting tiktoks and like every woman on america's sliding in yeah. there you know what someone said freddie and molly may oh my god yeah 
Oh my god, yeah, and he lives in Manchester too. I think she lives in Manchester. It's time. It's time. And she oh my god, they would be beautiful together. Beautiful. And Freddie's like Freddie's probably the most good looking man the show's ever seen in any fucking country. Yeah. Like good job. Yeah. Casting, you did your big one. Yeah, they did their big one. Yeah. And then who else did we have? Ben and Nicole. They're together. They're together. I need to know her height. She's very petite. She's like 5'3". Five, 5'3"? Three. Five, three? Oh my god, Ben is huge then. Really? And so is Sam. Well, Sam's like 6'3". Six, 6'4". Six, oh my four. god. But I love Benaya. At first, I was like, he gives me sketchy vibes. I don't know why. Maybe it was you know, the fact that, you know, he said he was homeless. I don't know. Not sketchy because he was homeless, but I feel like he wasn't revealing the details. Yeah. So I was like, I don't know if you're lying or if you're just... I don't know. Uh, but he he's nice. I, I like know, him. They're very cute together. I feel like they're meant to be. Like, I feel like they're actually meant to be. Yeah, and Sam came out. Oh, my God, Sam. And, you know, Demi basically had to tell him, like, you need to apologize yeah. to Nicole. He doesn't know how to read the room. I know. He, like, lacks awareness. So, yeah, self-awareness. A lot. Yeah. He just wanted to be on the show, for he, being honest. Yeah, he wanted clout. Yeah, of course he did. Like, if you're going to go he on was Love hoping that he was the Freddy of the show. Yeah, like, Sam looks at himself the way Freddy looks. You know what I mean? And no one addressed the fact that Catherine was super flirty with yeah. Sam. Yeah, that's weird. That was weird. She was like, he looks like my ex-boyfriend. I just, I don't even know. Yeah, and then Tom and Maria are not together. Um, Tom is getting roasted the fuck up on the internet because we were like, are you broke? Like, because he wants to be 50 50 and i mean i get it but like if you're a pr executive like you say you are like you know yeah how much could it be to keep her at home i don't know maybe no and she more. said at the reunion he, she was like i don't want him to pay for like my luxuries or for like mm -hmm. that's not that's not what she was asking for she's beautiful yeah she annoyed me a little bit because <gasps> she was so like pretty. when she was like asked him to pay for the ice cream mm -hmm. and then she got mad that he said yes I was like, what? Why would she get mad? Like, why ask if... Was it like a test? Maybe. Uh, that was kind of weird. I felt like... She is really pretty, though. I'll give her that. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's very pretty. Um, but when he was, like, um, judging her about the makeup thing, I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. That was unnecessary. Yeah. He didn't have to judge her. Um, and then I think those are all the couples. Yeah. Honestly, both seasons, Love is Blind UK and Love is Blind Mexico, were good. I need better reunions, though. Like, get it together. Yeah, we need to, like, the host of Love Island, no, Love Island, oh my God, Love is Blind UK, they didn't even ask anything. They were just like, how are you? And, and then that was, that was it. it. Yeah. No, ask the freaking questions. Like, yeah. what happened? None like, of these people went to the Andy Cohen school of yeah. read. Yeah. Like, none of them. Like, I'm like, Andy Cohen should be, like, it would be such a different reunion. I need more tea. Like, yes, we tune in to see who fell in love, but, like, I can find that on Instagram. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I know Benaya and Nicole are love, loving life, traveling, being happy. I need to know what happened yeah. with Freddie and Catherine. Yeah. Or with, what did Demi say to Ollie when she found out he was dating Charlotte? <laughs> I knew they were going to date afterwards. I, I knew, knew it. it, too. <sighs> But, you know, it is what it is. I can't wait till the USA. One, I know it's going to be coming. I know it's, like, coming out soon sometime. You think so? I hope so. I hope so. They usually air, like, two a year. Because there's, like, six seasons out right now. And mm. it started in 2020. So, I've, I know they've aired two in a year. Yeah. So, I'm like, it's been enough time. Air it. It's time. Yeah. Because like, what it. in the world are we supposed to watch now? Yeah. I know. Like, what are we going to watch? A Selling Sunset? Hmm. Did you watch Emily in Paris? I did not. I did not. I'm sorry. I was... I was watching 90 Day Fiance, but you literally won't watch it. So like, I cannot watch 90 Day Fiance. It gives me like the ick. There's only so much reality television. I feel like that stoops really low. Wow. Okay. Fair. But thank you guys so much for listening. Yes, we'll you see you guys next time. And like always, please check out our TikTok and Instagram at Morning Cheese and Podcast. And until next time. Bye, bye guys.